Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We, uh, right now, uh, are using a variety of methods to get our uh, data out there, data being content. And, uh, you know, I'm using a Canon Vixia HB40. I had to look at the little side thing just to get the, the, the name right. This was actually a, a gift. This camera is a gift from uh, YouTube last year in conjunction with B&H Photo. Uh, they did something for some producers. And I was very happy about that. But I'm not using the microphone on board. This is a, a, a question we get kind of uh, you know frequently. Um, people ask what mics that we use. And Matt Ryan had written an article, Four Obsolete Technologies That Defined Audio Production, uh, that you might take a look at if only to, to have fun. You know, I, uh, at one time, you'd have to carry around, like, a voice recorder. I don't know if people probably still buy these things, but why would you? Now you can get a smartphone app, if you even need an app, if, it, if it's not a native app, to record everything you need to record on your phone. In fact, most of the, the voice work that I might do for a brick film uh, that, you know, people need help with, I'll just kind of dictate into my phone. And I use that, and the microphone on the iPhone, at least iPhone 4S, is, is outstanding. Um you know, I've got, right now, I'm using a Rode mic, which I did a review on a while ago. It's on a different setting, though. Uh, we had it uh, going through the, we have it going through the camera. Uh, it was being attenuated, but this recording is not attenuated. Uh, I use a, an Audio-Technica, an AT2020 as a USB desktop mic. I've talked about the Yeti before uh, for, you know, a lot of the audio production that, you know, we might want to or, or need to do. Uh, but when it comes to uh, audio, some people cut their teeth on these things called reels. You know, when we say tape, I still talk about taping something, even though tape doesn't exist. Honey, have you ever owned a VHS tape? Um, yeah. Yeah, good, thank God. <laughs> have you ever owned a cassette tape? Um, You're going to make me cry, aren't you? I barely remember. Barely remember. <laughs> There's actually a photo going around that says it, it has a cassette tape and a pen underneath it and said, yeah. tell me the relationship. The answer to that is you'd have to stick the pin in and twist it around to either fast forward or rewind when you didn't have a controller. Uh, so Matt goes into talking about reel to reel, something called, and I, I had no idea this even existed, Fidelipack. Then, of course, the cassette and the, the phonograph. Uh, you know, audio is something that uh, we take for granted, and, and some people you know, have asked me in the past, well, Chris, what do you recommend for doing videos? And the number one thing that I recommend is having a good audio. And this is actually not my tip. It's Jake Luddington's tip. He says, you know, it doesn't matter if you have the most amazing camera. If your audio sucks, people are going to tune out. And we're constantly tweaking audio. In fact, uh, I've got it hanging up, the, uh, the the lavalier mic. I just did a, a quick brief review on in uh, last week's TLDR episode, uh, one of them. Uh, we're not using that right now. I thought it'd be easier to try with the, the road uh, so that I could, you know, kind of, I knew I was going to be facing this direction primarily. So audio technology continues to evolve. You're, we're surrounded by it. But sometimes it's nice to know where we used to be. Because imagine 10 years from now where we're going to be with audio technology. I mean, it's, it's constantly advancing. Uh, you know, we now have, it's kind of fun, unlimited tape. Laserdisc, someone at Blago Tech. Do you guys remember any other uh, classic uh, audio formats? I, I, Laserdisc was really more for, I think, video, but certainly audio as well. I used to put tape over my cassette tapes to record over them and, and make mixtapes because there was a little, uh, it's like a, a, a hinge, it, was really, it wasn't really a hinge, it was like a plastic tab that you would pop off and that would make it right protected so you couldn't actually record. The, on the physical media. They still, I think on DV tapes, have those as well. My dad, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, you guys are commenting too quickly. My dad can't find CD cassette players. Man, he needs an iPod. Oh, no doubt. Uh, digital, it's all digital these days. Um, oh, TFPP, TFPFP is Fireman Rich. Hi, Fireman Rich. One of the, the, in fact, I'm going to announce today, Fireman Rich right now is the Nomi of the day. He participates on Twitter and Facebook, and Google+, Plus and beyond. Great guy. Uh, always got his eye out for good content. And he's really, really nice. A nice guy that you guys want to start following me. Uh, Fireman Rich on, on YouTube. Uh, so let's see here. Cylinders. Oh! Yes, cylinders. Talk about old technology, right? That was my uh, uh, call for help blooper. That was part of the, the help-a-thon. I, I've talked about that a billion times, but I guess I can give you guys uh, kind of a... This is a, an exclusive. Uh, I'm going to be on MSNBC's uh, caught on camera show they're going to do a behind the scenes of what happened that day you remember the 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 call for help blooper that went out where the old guy is holding on the cylinder and it breaks and it shatters and then he cusses uh, 
they're going to do a, a kind of a, I don't, it's not a reunion necessarily, but they're they're going to ask me or they have. It's already been recorded. It's in the can. That's that's another industry term they used to use. Um, but it's going to be coming up on MSNBC talking about that particular uh, topic. I've never owned a cylinder like that. I did own vinyl. Uh, Spring 794 says vinyl. Uh, Tech Rain Geek says 8-track. I never did have an 8-track. Uh, what was, I'll ask you this. We're talking about, you know, four audio technologies that defined audio, and, and it brought us to this point. What was the first piece of audio equipment that you saw, and what was the first uh, piece of audio equipment that you used? And that, I think, is a really interesting question to ask because it, it gives you a better idea of, you know, what kind of uh, demographic is watching this particular video. We uh, recently uh, pulled some YouTube stats, and we're very even across the board. We used to skew very younger, but we're actually now drawing uh, a mature audience. Those who, you know, understand when I say real to real, they've got a mental image of what that looked like. Physical tape. Can you believe it? So, uh, yeah, what was the first piece of audio equipment uh, that you saw? What was the first piece you used? What was the first one that you purchased? My, uh, well, I don't know if I purchased. I think I won a, a, t a tape recorder as a kid, like second grade selling magazines. A tape recorder is what I wanted because I wanted to record audio. Uh, uh, I always wanted to have a tape recorder. And then a boom box, you know, doing dubbing. Well, I came across the digital, the Polaroid. Remember those? Polaroid digital Polaroid? The camera? The instant, digital, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're $300. Oh, you mean like the old stuff? Does that record audio too? No, I mean that's. I can't believe they're still that much. Oh, what? Well, film. Do you that? Well, I yeah, certainly. I, I mean, there's you there's have a. One? I oh, I absolutely had one. Oh my god, the first camera I had. I don't want to go into it too deeply, but yeah, it was a one of the Polaroid Instamatics. You know, yeah. and then it pops out. How much was it? Oh, I don't know. I got it as a Christmas present. Oh. But you had to be so careful when you when you had to deal with physical media. Oh my God! I this video is never going to end because I could reminisce about this stuff all day long. So uh, we'll pass it back to you for a response. And thanks to Matt for writing the article. 